Let's go ahead and start in the second row in the middle. Yes, that's an uh, obviously that was a how you doing? Um, obviously, that was a record-setting uh, effort uh, performance by you tonight. But just it, it, did you did you feel like that was in you guys all along? And can you just talk about I mean, you didn't uh, you didn't give up a third down conversion, didn't miss one for the whole game? Yeah, um, you know that's what that's what I'm most proud of. It's a third downs, you know. Um, I mean, that's what we were, har we were harping on, third down and red zone, you know, just this whole offseason. And we executed. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, when you got guys like him and you got an O-line when I have four seconds to throw the ball, I mean, you would hope that you have a quarterback that can throw the ball to guys, right? So, yeah, I mean, I think we did, you know. We have confidence in ourselves and the preparation that we put into it uh, to go out there and execute like that. Okay, and the far back on the left, I think, who's got the microphone? Yes, yeah, Stetson. Um, with Dan, obviously, you've been practicing with, against him for the last three or four years. How much of a level of comfort was there knowing kind of who they were personnel-wise and, and, and what they were going to do schematically? Yeah, you know, they did – you know, we might play the same team four years in a row, so it's kind of similar. Um, I mean, I guess when you practice against it, it helps a little more, but – um, they had some stuff that we hadn't seen, you know, good coaches always do. Um, but we played out our rules and, and we executed. So, um, you know, I, I don't know if it was because he was there or whatever. But for, I mean, regardless, every player on offense, you know, we'll have to go back and watch film and get better in areas, obviously. But for the most part, we executed. So, Okay, on the right side on the aisle. Yeah, Stetson, for just from a start to finish standpoint, do you feel, you know, where does that game rank for you personally as far as is it games that you've quarterbacked? Is that one of maybe the best one? Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, probably the best one I've played. Yeah. And why is that? Um, I'd say probably the offseason, um, all the work, you know, putting it in with these guys, year three in the offense. Um, you know, again, having time and having the playmakers outside. Um, so I think a combination of a lot of things. All right, let's, there's two questions on the aisle over there, and then we've got one on the front row right down here. Hey, Stetson, uh, can you speak to your comfort level with Coach Munkin at this point and talk to the game plan he had today and how he called it today? Yeah, I thought he was aggressive. I thought um, we went quick. I think probably need to get a little – in a little bit better shape for some, <laughs> you know. But uh, me too. But um, yeah, I thought I thought it, I thought it was really well executed. Um, again, I, I think we are prepared and we are ready to go out there and you know execute. Go ahead, on the left off. Hey Kenny, um, it was this kind of efficiency something you guys were seeing all during camp? And just simple question: How much fun was it out there for, for you and the rest of the offense today? It was real fun. Um, like you said, in the offseason, we had a lot of a lot of training and, you know, getting to know each other. I mean, we had a lot of time to get connected with the players, a lot of, a lot of young guys, um, teaching them the way, the standard at Georgia. So just going out there and, you know, seeing able to, being able to see the young kids go out there and get the opportunity to go out there and shine, it was a lot of fun. You know, you always want to see, especially like little brothers go out there and be able to compete. So I think it was a lot, a lot of fun. Katie, as a, as a follow up to that, sorry, as a follow up to that, you had over well over a hundred yards after the catch. Uh, have you ever had a game like that? And how much fun uh, is it to have more than a hundred yards after the catch? Uh, it's real fun because I love catching the ball. Not only running, but I love catching the ball after the, out, of, out of the backfield. So I don't think I ever had a game like that. But to answer your question, um, it was real fun out there just to be able to run with the ball in my hand like a receiver and stuff like that. So it real fun. Okay, hold on one second. Do we have a question? Was somebody got the mic over here? Yeah, go ahead, and then I'll come back to you, Seth. Yeah, hey, Stetson, could you sort of walk me through what was going through your mind on that touchdown pass to Ladd right before halftime? Yeah, it was um, – I mean, it, it wasn't smart. I mean, I, I need to not do that, you know, first and goal from the one. Um, but I know I knew that we had motioned Ladd over there, and obviously we had never hit him, but I knew – started scrambling, and I was trying to find him because I knew he was over there somewhere. Um, and then found him and threw it, but you know, it, it probably wasn't smart. I needed either ground it at him or, or run it or throw it to Brock or something front side, especially first down and one. Don't do that, but it did work out. Stetson, the number of times the ball was in the air today, uh, how much of that is an indication of that's what we're going to see this year out of Georgia's offense? How much of it was just 
this particular play, the defense was giving you that, and it just happened that way during yeah. the Yeah. You know, I think football is such a flow game. You know, I mean, what's working, um, you know, you whenever I make a play in practice and Coach Monk's holding it and, and you know, I should have done something, but he always says, but I have the, I have the remote now, right? I can see it. Hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? It, it goes back and forth, and so... You know, that it worked today, but who's to say that we don't run it 40 times next week, right? And that's what, you know, the connection, the unselfishness for each and every position player on the team and O-line, um, that, like, whatever's working, it's about the team, right? It, it doesn't matter if we throw it 30 whatever times we throw it a day or, or we run it 40 times, right? Whatever's working, however we're going to win that day is how we're going to win. Okay, in the back, go ahead, and then we'll come back to the middle. And Kenny in the back, uh, you've been here a long time. Yes, sir. You've made big plays, but you've never been the man like you were today. How did that feel? Uh, I just thank God for giving me the opportunity to be in this position, to be able to make those plays. Um, like you said, I've been waiting a long time, um, and i kind of seen how I was supposed to look, how I was supposed to. Like, I think I had great examples. Um, like you said, I think this is RBU. This is RBU, you know what I'm saying? So all the great running backs in front of me. Watching them being the, like DeAndre Swift to be able to watch him go out there and just compete in the way, at a high level each and every single week. So for my time to be here, I just, you know, wanted to look kind of the same, you know what I'm saying, you know, because it's a standard here at Georgia, and I just want to, you know, uphold the standard for the next guy. Okay, question on the third row, and then we'll come back to you in the back. This is for both of you guys. Uh, Stetson, you said that you've never had a game like today. Kenny, you said this. The same thing. How much do you feel like this offense is not only taking a step forward today, it's a small sample size, but just in general, do you feel like you guys are headed in a really positive direction? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think, you know, the first year that Monk was here was, was COVID, and that was weird for everybody, right? We, we couldn't be there in the summer to, to kind of get it. You know, we're doing Zoom meetings, and it's hard to, you know, you, you can't walk through and do all that stuff. Um, so it's year three now, but, I mean, kind of it's year two, right, maybe. Um, and we didn't lose that many guys. You know, we lost several key guys, but not core of the offense. And, you know, and the guys, like Kenny said, like the guys who did leave, they left great examples. Like, hey, this is, I waited, right? I came, I performed whenever it was my turn. And now, like, hey, you sit behind me for a year, and then next year it's going to be your turn, right? And that's, 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 that's kind of like what the program that Coach Smart's building, right? It's, it's about the program, right? And I think we understand that. Um, and whenever you know that your brother next to you is thinking the same way you do, then you trust him, right? And you worry about your job, and you execute your job, and they execute their job, and it just is a domino effect. Okay, two more questions. Go ahead there, and then in the in the back of the aisle. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, Stenson, um, how important is it for the offense, especially early in the season, sometimes it takes the offense a little bit of time to get going, to come out and have a game like it had today? Uh, you know, I think it's more important to come out and play the next one. Um, you know, we had a good one. Uh, but it, yeah, exactly. It's fine. It's it's over now, right? And this game's on, you know, over, and we've got next week's opponent. Um, but I think I think our guys are really mature, and I think I think that we attack it like it is a business, like like it is our job, because it is. And um, when you do it that way, and you go out and you know the little tiny things that you need to know to make a good offense, good offense, then you can be a good offense. All right, last question. Go ahead, Allison. Sesson, how did it feel to just start your season opener for the first time for the Bulldogs when you're national champion and it took you this long to do it? And also, how are you so good at blocking out that noise besides having the, the phone? Did it help this offseason knowing that you were going to be the starting quarterback the whole entire season to kind of have that extra confidence coming in this year? Yeah, how did it feel starting the first after that? Feel good, then it? Feel so good. Huh? Um, yeah, I mean... It's always good to go in to be the guy, right? And the reps, you know, like I've said, throwing with the guys in the offseason, you know, working on choice reps, me and Kenny. Like just the, just the little things that show up when you don't know when they're going to show up, but that's why you work them, right? Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool, you know. Um, but on to the next now, I guess. All right, thank you. You can return to the locker room. Uh, stand by. We've got a couple more players coming. <laughs> 